open it now. Yeah. Ready? Oh god, ew, oh god, it's worse than I thought it would be. Oh. Today, we travel to Saudi Arabia to find out how a desert country gets its supply of fresh water. Join us as we learn how a little bacteria can clean wastewater and power the desalination of seawater at the same time, providing a sustainable solution for clean water worldwide. And the person that we're interviewing is Lab Student of the Month, Nora Shehab. We are PhD Comics. And we want to know why. So welcome to Water Desalination and Reuse Center. We are trying to figure it out what are the methods to desalinate seawater and how we can treat wastewater. We thought about doing something to help uh, water treatment. Since Saudi Arabia always rely on desalination plants to get water, fresh water for agriculture or drinking. Can you get power from people? Maybe in the science fiction movies? Methane, yeah, maybe. But in, uh, in our lab, we are getting the power from microbes. So these microbes, actually, we don't add them. They are already naturally exist in the wastewater. Actually, wastewater, that means pollutions and organics and bacteria. Bacteria. Yeah. They eat the organics in the wastewater. Uh, when you put them in the right environment, the level of the organics will decrease. Yeah. And since they are eating, they are producing electrons out of their cell membrane, like any bacteria. The metabolism of the bacteria yeah. creates electrons? Yes. So this is so cool. So you have, you have material that's in the water, microbes, and it eats the organic material that's yeah. already in the water because it's wastewater. Exactly. And then it uses that to create electrons, which when you create electrons and then they move, that's electricity, it's energy. Exactly. Awesome, okay, so, yes. what, so what do you so, do actually so, so, <laughs> here in the lab? So we get the cube reactor made of plexiglass and uh, we try to make it as a battery. So the battery usually has an old and cathode, positive and negative. We put some wastewater. People's pee right out of the Exactly, yeah. yeah. Produce an energy. <laughs> and we put the wastewater inside the fuel cell and just make a circuit. And these bacteria, they like metals. They like to attach to metals. Then they're going to eat the organics and transfer the electrons out of their cells. With time, we, we found out, OK, are we getting enough energy out of this? It's not enough to power this building. So the trend of these technologies like go to integrating another technologies with the MFC, with the microbial fuel cell. Well, if we look to different desalination technology, there is something called electrodialysis, ED. So in electrodialysis technology, they use cation and anion exchange membrane facing each other. They will flow the seawater between the membranes mm -hmm. and connect it with the regular electricity. Any seawater has salt, NaCl. NACL the salt. Na is positive, mm -hmm. the Cl is negative see the membranes, mm -hmm. they have a selective surface, so the cation will let the positive go through and the negative will go through the anion. And that will desalinate the water. So you need energy to drive the system and, and it costs a lot. In this technology, we are creating the energy from the microbes. Wow. And that energy will drive the system, will drive the membranes to let the ions go through different directions mm -hmm. and desalinate the salty water to fresh water. So now we are in the hottest, nastiest room I've ever been in intentionally. Here is it's hot because we're you're growing the microbes. This is the desalination with the fuel cell coupled together, integrated. Wow, look at that. Pump nasty seawater, nasty water in, microbes, energy, pump desalination, fresh water. I saw the materials of the anion cation membranes, it's made of polymers, mm -hmm. and I found something called anion and cation exchange resins. It smelled very bad, but you can open it. It smelled like a fish. <laughs> I put these resins between the pair of membranes to support the system, mm -hmm. make it more conductive. The internal resistance of the whole system decreased. When it decreased, then the flow of the ions will be faster. Wow. So we are making the whole thing more efficient. More efficient. We optimize the system. This is called electro-deionization de 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 system. 
So all the sources are here. <laughs> Wastewater is here, desalination is here, yeah. everything is there. Yeah, you know? I know, you're literally analyzing your boss's poop. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we meet a real-life Doctor Who, Alex Kaus. Adventurer, fighter, explorer of space and time, he's a theoretical physicist who works with Stephen Hawking on extra-dimensional black holes. What's it like to have the world's most famous physicist as your advisor?